So before you guys actually see the clip, I've been talking for like five minutes. I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Damara. I am a YouTuber now based in Canada, but this video I'm shooting here in the UK. Today is our travel day. We're leaving the UK for Canada. If this is your first time, you're definitely, definitely, definitely welcome. And that grumbling you're hearing in the background is my baby. So yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get right into the actual video. Hello guys, good morning. Good morning this morning. <laughs> oh, today is travel day. And yesterday was so stressful, guys. It was so, so stressful. We had to leave our house yesterday because all of the furniture left yesterday. So we didn't even have the bed to sleep on for the night. So, why not hotel? And... So, so far this morning, we already went to have breakfast. So I showered, Wally showered, then we walked it all up, dressed them up, and then we went downstairs for breakfast in the hotel. So I haven't even moisturized my body, but I had my bath because I didn't bath yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, we just got back from breakfast now. My baby is just over there playing. And um, Wally went back to the house to go uh take some we had like two bean bags i need to go out so we went to take that out and then he's also doing like the final like um sweeping or let's say overing you know just to look around the house again make sure everything is clean but it is definitely clean because we we cleaned everywhere yesterday we mopped and we've been mopping for days actually so um when it's done with all of that, the keys to the house we just give to my sister. And um, what else? And then our friend is coming to take us to the airport. He would be here in like an hour. And all of our bags are still in the, in the house. So he will meet Wally at the house, get the bags. Then they'll come to the hotel to get Wally and, and to get to turn and then we we'll leave for Ethro. So yeah, we all went down to breakfast and then Wally left from there. Excuse me. So Ithro is about two hours, thirty minutes drive from Wolverhampton, which is where we live or we used to live at this point. Uh yeah, so it's going to be quite a ride. So we, we um we'll be leaving here. We plan to leave here like twelve o'clock or twelve thirty at the most, so that we will get to Ithro latest at three. Our flight is at six, so we have three hours to do everything that needs to be done. Uh that's that. So all I have to do now is to is to get Sito ready, just give him a bath, wear his, wear his clothes, um, pack the bag for, so my my baby's diaper bag is like my extra and luggage. So in there I'll have all the food and stuff he needs for the road and then the ones that you need on the plane. Because I'm not sure how I feel about paying food, right? This is the first time it's flying. And it's very picky, you only eat certain things and then when you give him food he's never had before. He usually just disagrees, right? And I don't want him throwing tantrums on the plane. So I'm going to pack some food for him as well. Uh, and that's that. And then I want to leave this hotel in a good-ish shape so that the person who comes to clean wouldn't even just cuss me out. Because the sugar that they left for us in the sugar bowl, although it's sachet sugar, it's everywhere on the floor because of this powder. What is this? Come stay. Anyway, yeah, that's that's what's up now. We are leaving, like I said, in another like two hours. Yeah, I think we still have like two hours, almost ten o'clock. And we have to leave like twelve ish. And yeah. Um dress the to bath to dress him up. Pack everything else that needs to be packed. Um what else? What else? What else? I need to withdraw some money, I need some cash. And yeah, and that's everything. And then we'll just wait for Wally to get here with our friend. By the way, shout out to Randy if he ever gets to watch this video. We are really, really grateful. So our friend came to pick us up. He doesn't even... He lives far away, guys. He's coming to pick us up, take us to Ethel, and then go back home. He lives far away. Like, he doesn't live in this city. He doesn't live anywhere in this part of the UK. So it's, it's a big deal to our friends like that that go out of their way. And I think it's... It's just really helpful because the only other options that we had were maybe take a taxi which will cost us a lot or go on the bus that's national express and national express could be very you know that thing called 
probably like over four hours and Tito would not even be able to do that four hours so would have been stuck with like going in the car because going on the train is also very and then there's a lot of like train strikes nowadays so we're thinking what if there's a train strike and the day we need to leave and then we just asked him and he's like of course sure and it's just really nice to have people who you know who will go out of their way to help you like that and we're really 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 grateful yeah. to have him so yeah i'm just chilling for like 10 minutes because we just came upstairs and then i would start getting ready yeah the hotel that we're at is a premier inn this is actually the first time i'm staying in the premier inn and i'm not not very impressed to be honest but we just needed somewhere to sleep honestly because we didn't have furniture and there's a restaurant ne- next to the hotel that's where we went for breakfast it comes with the hotel as well we paid for everything together so yeah i talked to you guys when we're about to leave so that's the um restaurant in the hotel where we went for breakfast and this is actually like the city center of wolverhampton and uh, it's the first time i'm staying in any hotel around here and actually i've actually been to this area like only twice this tall building over here is where i went to get my lash done so the lady works from our apartment inside this building yeah so and then i think i came to an audi here once and this is my third time here so guys this is the airport fit this is the only way i'm doing this video with his hand stuck inside my bra you guys stick it like that anyways i'm wearing these black joggers and then i'm wearing this neat very soft knitwear and my crocs i've got some thermal socks in, in my bag that i'll wear at the airport it's just easy for me to take up off and on the mm. shoes and the thermal socks is really 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 mm. really warm so i'll be fine and we have somebody picking us up we have our auntie mm. picking us up when we get to canada so i don't think i'll be cold okay so my baby is wearing jeans from river island top is next and uh city we need to clean your nose yeah that's it well he's not here yet but we have to check out of the hotel so i'll just wait for him downstairs let's go before this boy actually naked so. a few minutes later guys my baby's already sleeping after all the trouble oh so we have to check out i'm just going down to the lobby um wally already told me that they'll soon be here my friend is already with him so they're just carrying the bags and they're coming back to pick me so i have to wear my bonnet until i get into the car because if i take it out if i remove it oh jeez, <laughs> if i remove my bonnet my braids will touch my baby's face and he absolutely absolutely hates that so yeah i'll just leave this on and then i just have my baby's diaper bag is tab <laughs> my wash bag and the bag where i put all the snacks to carry and then we're off yes yeah, so um i'll see you guys when we're all settled in the car maybe on our way down to Heathrow. like i said Heathrow is about two hours 30 minutes three hours max so if we leave here 12 30 it's 10 minutes to 12 now if we're able to leave here at 12 30 we should get to Heathrow at the latest 3 30 which means we will still have two hours 30 minutes before our flights so we should be good <laughs> hi guys so we've um we've checked in past security pleasant 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 experience hmm. you guys instead of 23 kg i was able to go in with over 32 kg the lady at the checking whatever place was just so pleasant and she just i think she was just really smitten by my baby anyways we passed security everything my baby's milk is going with me which is really nice because i really wanted him to have the milk in case he doesn't like the food on the plane his food is going with me um all of his medications so i have like basic medications for him everything is going with me so we are now just at the um currency exchange place so um even though most of our money is just still in our regular british bank accounts we just want to hold some cash so we are trying to convert the pounds that we already withdrew into canadian dollars so that's what we're doing there and today is the same in the buggy and then our gate is like 15 minutes walk 
But the good thing is we're in Terminal 2. East West Terminal 2 is quite um, chilled. It's not as busy as other terminals. And we're going to go through GT3. I have some things I want to buy. And then, yeah, we'll go just sit down and wait for our flight. I'm trying to look for the time because I'm vlogging with my phone. So it's 4 o'clock now. Yes, yeah, 4 o'clock now. And we start boarding at 5 15. Our flight is for 6. So we have over an hour. Good 1 hour 15 minutes before boarding starts at all, which is great. So, yeah. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> Hello, guys. So we are. Uh, we look at our gate and everything. We are just about to eat. So we found a restaurant. Uh, we're going to have food. But I just wanted to do duty free quickly because by the time we wait for our food to be ready and we eat, I might not be able to do it. So whilst Ole is waiting for the food, I'm just going to do a quick shift. And I just want one thing. I need a wallet. And I wanted to buy something for someone else. I can't decide yet what I want to buy for her. So we're done eating and we're still doing duty free. Actually, Wale is now doing duty free. I'm done with my duty free. And then we're going to the gates. Boarding is in like 15 minutes and the gate is like 10 minutes walk away. So I will be boarding first because we have a baby. We just landed Toronto. Whew. Traveling with a baby or with a toddler. Next level, you guys. Next level. Anyways, we've landed now and we're just going to. I don't know if they call it uh, border control here as well, but border control basically. And then we have. How many waiting to pick us up? <sighs> We're keeping you guys updated. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. We are now done with the um we're done with butter control and everything. We're just taking our bags and we're heading out. So this will be the end of this video. I'll talk to you guys in a few days. I'm tired.